Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a VW Caddy 2 litre diesel in today. And it's one of the later diesels and these make some mega numbers. And they often make a good 80, maybe 90% increase in power and well over 120 newton meters on the torque. And sometimes it's a bit difficult to put it into perspective in terms of what that means on in the real life. So we thought we'd tune this car, show you the process, get some 30 to 70 mile an hour runs in stock form and then with our PE tune and then you can see what the actual difference is in terms of real life numbers. But there it is, VW Caddy and we'll take you through the day. So this Caddy is actually the 102 version. So not a lot of power, but two litre diesel, but people are unaware that these are detuned vans. So in stock form, 102, it did 104 horsepower and 255 newton meters, so nigh on bang on stock numbers. And then the customer didn't actually know, he was unaware, the van was already tuned. It was only running 122 horsepower um, and 284 newton meters, so it was making 20 horsepower increase and just under 30 newton meters on the torque. So we're in the caddy van now, it's back to standard, obviously it was already uh, it arrived with a tune on it, the tune wasn't very good, it made 20 horsepower increase over stock. Um, so what we're going to do is, we've got the V-Box all set up and we're going to log how quickly it does, or I should say how slowly, how long it takes to do 30 mile an hour to 70 mile an hour. We're going to lock it off in third gear. Um, third gear will do the full speed range, so there's no need to change gears in the auto. Um, but yeah, we'll see exactly what it does, and I think it's going to be painfully slow. So we're about to start the run. We're locked in third gear, and uh, did around about just under 30 mile an hour. Let's see how long it takes. 50. 60 <laughs> 15 point one seconds painfully slow these are meant to be work vans but nobody's getting to none of their jobs in in any good time really really slow but let's see what it does with our PE stage one tune I think it's going to be a lot quicker so we've just flashed our PE stage one tune on the van and you've got to see these numbers so got the usual stuff so we've got the data log in the engine and all the parameters with VCDS and then we've got our dyno so let's get into fourth gear which we are, so this is the stop curve, that's the previous tune curve. Let's see what our P stage one curve does. Look at that. Look at that. Huge difference. Look at the area under the curve here. And this is running around just shy 190 horsepower. So we're gaining 90 horsepower, and I believe it's 400. I believe it's 420 newton meters, so some mega numbers. So once this dyno run's finished, we'll show you the numbers, we'll take it out on the road and we'll see what difference it makes in terms of the D box numbers. So then guys, finished the tuning on this caddy van, made some mega numbers as you've seen, but let me show you how smooth these curves are. So, let me talk you through these. This is the stock power run. This is the tune power run, so it's fairly similar in terms of where the, the, the smoothness is. And then we've got the stock torque curve here. And then we've got our P stage one tune. Look at the difference. So, you're talking, around about 80 horsepower increase here and around 170 newton meters on the torque massive huge difference but look how smooth the power curve look how smooth the torque curve is yeah that's really really good so what we're going to do quickly take it out on the road and v-box it 
So back out in the van and we're going to repeat the same procedure again. The only difference is, is we're running our PE stage one tune, which is making around 85 horsepower and 170 newton meter increase. So you're expecting the numbers to be a lot quicker than what there was originally. So here we go, same procedure, same gear, same stretch of road. Let's see how much quicker we can do the 30 to 70 run. Immediately, it picks up so much quick. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to overlay this because the numbers are unbelievable. This fan will never be late for a job never so basically in stock form we did 15 seconds 30 to one th uh, 30 to 70 mile an hour with our PE stage one two which made 80 odd horsepower increase and 170 newton meter increase for the same 30 to 70 mile an hour we're doing it in 7.5 so nearly twice as fast which Given it's made near enough 80 90 horsepower increase, uh, 80 90 percent increase is what you'd expect, but in reality, this uh, it makes such a difference. But hopefully, you can kind of get a feel for what certain numbers will make on a car because sometimes when you put up this car has made X amount of power, X amount of torque, it's a bit difficult to, to relate it to real world terms. but hopefully this vlog will show you that it makes a huge difference plus if you drive these vans economically the two litre diesels we pulled around about three to five mpg improvement so they make a big difference i'm going to do one more run because the road is pretty clear seven point five again this van is so much quicker. Nippy van, nippy, nippy van. So just finished the caddy van, it's just left. I'm really astonished by how much quicker that van is in the real world. And a small little 30 to 70 mile an hour distance, nine and a half the time taken to do the same speed. Brilliant, but forgot to mention as well, we tested the car with a tune on in a deal. I think it was 14.4 seconds for the same speed, so around about a second quicker than the stock form, but it only made 20 off past 30 newton meters, so it's not really that much difference. But I thought while we're here, I've got a few motors in for today. So we've got this S38V, rather cool with the, uh, with the roof box on, and then we've got a E60, um, 530Ds are on IPE stage 2 tune and then we've got a Mark 7R, rather cool Mark 7R in this colour. This is running IPE stage 1 ECU and TCU tune and then we've got this lovely M2 in. Rather nice, all the carbon bits on here lowered, PE stance, PE engine tune. So yeah, quite a lot of motors to crack on with today. But yeah. Hope you got a little insight to see how much difference in the real world our performance engineering tune makes on some of the two litre diesels. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one and bye.